Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Nijisa, and today I'm going to do this video about ideas for Anna Tekken 8, right? Move set wise, right? So we all know if you guys been on my channel, you guys understand that I do believe the dev team has a very bad uh, rep with Anna, right? Like they don't like the character. They don't really care to make the character good. So let's go ahead and just take it from here. Okay, my my some of my favorite moves from Tekken 7, right? That I personally hope that they make it better or I hope they don't nerf the moves, right? Is for four three. Obviously love the tracking option from the four dash, love the hard to punish uh, option because of the way that it hits. Um, and most importantly, the way that you input it is it's four four. And if you see a whiff, it's very easy to just throw four four. It's much easier to uh, whiff punish people with that, right? Okay. Uh, down four two, also like the move. The fact that it, it is 15 frame, I really liked it. Um, if it has a little bit more range, it would be great. But, you know, for the most part, I just hope they don't nerf it back to 16 because, you know, they did have it 16 for the longest time and now it's to 15. Because if it's not 15, she won't have anything to punish Rage Art with. It's impossible, right? You can do back to 2. But back to two isn't really something that great, right? And uh, okay, and then um, obviously down four four. I think a lot of people like this move, and a lot of people use this move a lot. And in recent iteration, they seem to have buffed this move a little bit in terms of like damage and stuff like that. So you would think that they would just make this move better. So they'll probably do more damage and probably remain the same, maybe. But Hopefully the frames work in our favor. I don't know yet, but we'll just keep it at that. Obviously, most of my favorite moves are down four inputs. So I like down four, three, three, three. Hopefully the big problem with down four, three, three is obviously Nina has a new down four, three, three. It doesn't do this animation anymore. I hope Anna doesn't go the same route because if she does, it'll take away some of the good mix up option that she has. Um, and down four one two strings. I really hope this stays the same with these uh, options here. And uh, down four one. I hope this also stays the same. These are some of my favorite moves. You know, obviously there's a lot more stuff that I could name, but those primary move are really like all you need to really play Tekken well, right? A good mid option, good low options, and a few good launchers, right? Okay, next. The tailspin in Tekken 8 is obviously different from Tekken 7. So you would assume that instead of down 4, 1, 2, 3, I uh, 1, 2, 4, you would probably have down 4, 1, 2, 3 now that does the tailspin, right? In Tekken 8. And then um, obviously, same like Tekken 6, this would probably be a bound now, you know, like in Tekken 6. And uh, the back 3, 1 plus 2. And since Tekken 8 does have options that really throw people up, I would think quarter circle for quarter circle for two one would become a tailspin as well. That's just my guess because you would assume quarter circle for three two no longer does it. So like let's say if you did a move like this, it won't tailspin, but then you can do this option and get a tailspin, right? Something like that, maybe. That's my guess. Okay, so some of the similar option that Nina has, like down three two, you know, doesn't launch anymore. So you would expect if Anna has the same shit, it wouldn't launch either. The only big difference in this scenario is Anna doesn't have any eleven frame move to make up for it like Nina does, right? So the question would be. Will Anna get an 11 frame move or will this move remain launching, right? And minus 13, you know, it's that's the real question. And I don't mind either or. I would prefer the new way instead. I would rather not have it launch and just give Anna 11 frame move. That would be insane. But the, the fact that if you get an 11 frame move, it just changed the entire dynamic of the game, right? Like it just makes your character so much better. 
And that's the crazy thing about Nina in Tekken 8 because that exists. Your character is just like way more powerful, right? In the, in the back of your mind, you're like, whoa, I have this really strong 11 frame move, you know? Okay. Uh, Power Crush. I was never a fan of Power Crush. And I'm going to be honest, I really hope that this move doesn't exist in Tekken 8. If this move exists and it becomes a... Uh, a heat engager this will be a shitty heat engager option that I would definitely not use much and I would be very disappointed if it exists right this other power crush move is just as bad and the fact that if it is a heat engager as well I would be so sick because the, 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 the I would be so sad because now you got these really bad options that they could have gave her something better right and that's that's the problem you got this minus 14 move if it's a heat engager it's probably gonna be like minus 16 to 18 now right considering the fact that usually when it becomes a heat engager it becomes more minus right and similar to this this will probably be like minus 14 to 15 now it will be really stupid right because it's already minus 13 it just sucks overall and then full crouch down 4 2 if this remain power crush there's a lot of problems here one if it is a heat engager at minus 14 i still wouldn't use it two i mean they took out a bunch of characters that has 14 frame launcher like josie bob mcgill lucky chloe right a lot of those characters are out that has 14 frame launcher but you still got like june raven Jin, kazia you know eddie you you still got a lot of freaking character that can launch you with doing this option and it's not worth it because the tray is not worth it so out of all the power crush i really just hope none of them have heat engager because i know they're gonna probably give heat engager to this move here and i will be so useless it would just be a waste of a move that's what i'm saying right okay now <laughs> uh the sweeps the sweeps, I know a lot of people love the sweeps. Obviously, I do believe that these sweeps are all going to be the same like in Tekken 8. Where, you know how all the sweeps immediately becomes the uh, tailspin? I'm sure this is going to be the same. Which immediately goes into tailspin, right? Uh, it's obviously going to be very similar, I would assume, you know. I'm not a fan of these option anyway, so I won't be I won't be like bummed out if it is or not. It doesn't matter to me, cause that's not really my playstyle anyways. Okay, and then uh, heat engager in general. My opinion of heat engager in general for Anna is gonna be really tough, because we I understand that if back to two remains as a 14 frame Punisher. And if she doesn't have a heat engager that is faster than 14 frame to punish like let's say 13. The fact that if you're still going to punish 13 with like 2-3 back or like 1-2. Like then you know the character still really sucks right. Like if you think about it if you're punishing like minus 12 and 13 with this damage you're pretty much doing shit damage in Tekken 8. And the fact that uh, back to two, my, where I'm trying to get to about heat engager here is, I do believe that this move is gonna be heat engager four two three, and if this move is a heat engager at 14 frames, the big problem here is why would I ever use this? Because now I got back to two for Punisher, and I'm gonna do like 53 damage without wasting my heat. Right? The fact that if I could do this and let's say I pick up and boom right there, heat uh, burst, then I get a pickup and I keep going, it makes way more sense than just shooting out a 14 frame Punisher into a heat where you don't actually get more damage. You just get a mix up, right? That doesn't make sense. So in other words, this move will be really bad to use unless it's 13 frames. Because if it's 13 frame, then you can actually punish like hop kicks and stuff like that, right? Because 14 can't punish hop kick or the generic hop kick, you know, most people's hop kick. Okay. 
Uh, heat engager in general, I don't know if 4 4 and stuff like this. The problem is, you typically see heat engager be moves that are like, you know, power crush, which sucks. I would not want this to be a heat engager. Or like shoulder options. You know, like Anna doesn't really have anything that signify, oh, this should be a heat, right? It just doesn't look like it, right? Like 4 4 and stuff like that, you just don't see it, right? So, my thing is maybe like up uh, CJM1, that would be horrible because that would take away what she already had, right? And then up 4 1 can possibly be a heat engager at 13, but the question is when do you get the heat engager? At the final strain? If you get this at the final strain, it's almost pointless, right? Unless this is a natural combo, but then that will be way too strong. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, so I don't know, but considering the fact that the character is that bad in general, you can't really create a scenario where she can have a faster heat engager unless they're gonna just create one, right? Like I said for Nina, right? 11 frame. You're punishing Hopkins. You're literally punishing almost everything with that heat engager because it's 11 frame, right? And it does a lot of damage too. Okay. Last part. Okay, before... Okay. Uh, I want to talk about heat burst. But the problem with heat burst is it's obvious that a lot of heat burst is more catered towards like what type of style your character uses, right? Like weapon or whatnot, right? But I really do hope they don't just use like a freaking bazooka and like do something slow. I want her to have something fast, right? I hope she has something fast. If her heat burst is like 30 frame startup, I would just like never freaking use it. Like I don't even know if you can use it in a combo if it's that slow, right? It's kind of like Lily's heat burst where uh, heat smash where it doesn't really hit a lot because you have to have it in a certain situation, right? To hit it. Whereas a lot of other characters, they can just press it during a combo and it boom, it'll work, right? So I'm really hoping that if anything, her heat smash will be really fast. Uh, like maybe 13 frames, you know? Okay. And then as far as Rage Art goes, it's obviously going to take up the down 4 1 plus 2 command. So I don't know what they're going to do with this guard break. You know, I do like this move a lot too. The problem is, it will be very awkward if it just becomes 1 plus 2. That would be really weird. But, I guess you gotta do something, right? Or back 1 plus 2 maybe? Down back 1 plus 2 already has an input. Okay, so for the last part, not to be greedy, but just to be fair, you know? It would be nice if Anna can get some gimmicks in her game, right? Some back sway option, some options that you can hit, for, uh, some back turn options, some back sway option, some sidestep options that automatically hits, you know, uh, some kind of orbital or hop kick for one, you know, like why is it that Anna's the only character in the game that doesn't have like an orbital or a freaking hop kick? Like, why? Like, if you're gonna crush a low for a damaging launcher, you have nothing. Back three into hop kick takes like an eternity to do. Like this takes so much frames that if you did this, you're more than likely just gonna get hit with any kind of option that's coming out at you, you know? And the fact is that if you go back three and they're doing a low that you can't parry, you're gonna get hit. And that's the flaw of it. You know, like, yeah, you have like this move, but this move is minus 15, bro. And it doesn't launch, it doesn't give you any damage, any big damage. It gives you like shitty damage, but that's it. Uh, up 4 3, yeah, it will probably be useful in Tekken uh, 8, maybe. But it's so slow. You know, for 4 4, yeah, this launches, but it takes an eternity to execute. You know, I don't know. Um, but I do hope that they give her some kind of gimmicks and shit. You know, stuff where like. You're gonna do something, but the problem is she doesn't even have any safe mid-mid to begin with, so she doesn't have any setup that she can actually set it up. You know, the problem is nobody is going to just press unless it, they know it's their turn. Anna's a very definite character. You know, when you hit them, it's most likely your turn. 
and when they uh, block, it's most likely uh, a punish. So usually you don't have anywhere in between. Like you don't have a lot of safe moves. You either have moves that you throw that is going to be punishable or you're going to hit them. And when you hit them, it's usually your turn. If they block, it's usually a punish. So in most cases, you don't have a scenario where you're going to throw out gimmicks. And I really hope that uh, they will buff this character a lot. Because not only that uh, I play it, but it would draw more um, users because it will help, you know, players that are not as good, you know. Alright guys, and let's close it out there. See you guys the next time. Bye bye.